Let's go right over to meteorologist James Hopkins because I know we're approaching the, mm -hmm. the peak peak of hurricane season. Yeah, it always has a lot of people worried. This just means whenever we get the most activity historically, but uh, that's what we're watching. We're watching this is what's called the main development region. This is where we get the African monsoon season pushes those waves off the coast, and this is where they have the potential to develop. The good news with this one, it's going to be battling some dry air over the course of really the rest of this week into the weekend, which is why it's been so slow to see some some development 50% potential over the next two days given by the National Hurricane Center and 80% over the next seven days. More than likely we will have a depression out of this one by I would say tomorrow and then could have a tropical storm by the weekend. 25 mile per hour winds moving to the west at 10 miles an hour. So again, battling the dry air until it gets past this point right here is really where it looks like it could potentially become a hurricane and a lot of the forecast models, at least a few that we have are again taking up kind of a similar track to Aaron. So again, it's nice. This has been the pattern, the recurve. It's all about that high pressure. We always watch that high, the big ridge of high pressure over the uh, central Atlantic. And there's both of the forecast models, the European and the GFS. The European pushes it into as a tropical storm, pushes it into the Lesser Antilles there, while the GFS just a little bit to the north of that and starts to push up to the north. Again, as we go throughout the next couple of days, we'll start to get a lot more model runs actually focusing on this now that we have an invest on it.